so this is not good if you want to do fair business oh man this is not good not good. welcome to the first episode of montenegro the place where i got scanned i enjoyed the beautiful scannery and i saw the beautiful zeti stefan hello guys how are you welcome welcome to another vlog to a new series in this channel we are going to start the montenegro series travel series and where does we have a better place to start this series than Sveti Stefan the most famous place in Montenegro one of the most famous in uh, Balkan and especially in Europe one of the most photographed ones okay so Sveti Stefan is not only one of the most famous one of the most beautiful and photographed places in Europe so this is super special and this tri trip to Montenegro is starting with the right point I'm going to say something about Sveti Stefan. If you want to stay and to come in the beach in the other part, it's with payment. So you have to pay for two sun beds, 120 euros, which is mind blowing. But yeah, it's one of the most famous places, so why not? But if you want to come and stay for free, you will also have this option in the other part of the island. And it's really beautiful and really unique and really fun. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of sunbath in Montenegro, in Sveti Stefan, yeah. I mean, the majesty of this place is really, really meaningful and it's, yeah, I can say, I can't describe this word how beautiful it is here. It's really beautiful and highly recommend to everyone to try it at least once in, the, in its life. Shame, we, could, we can't go in because it's not allowed it for the moment. But before, they say before two months, if you wanted to go inside, it was like 20 euros to go inside and explore the island. Something that it's not possible now, but I'm happy still with this time and with, with some bathing near that at Sveti Stefan. So luckily in Montenegro is legal to use a drone and I could use that to catch some of the most incredible footage that I have ever catch. This is Sveti Stefan Island, one of the most beautiful places in Europe and yeah, absolutely worth the high because it's super beautiful actually and super unique. It's also one of the most photographed places in Europe too. I mean, uh, the prices are out of this world because if you want to go to the private beach of this place, it's 120 euros for two sun beds and you want, if you want to enter the island, it's like 20 euros per person just to rock the streets of this island, but now where I was there, it wasn't allowed to go inside. This is an island that is uh, owned by famous people and have uh, houses and resorts, but also have hotels where you can book. But you can you can't book from the internet, or not everyone can book here. So it's a private booking uh, experience, which I don't know where exactly how it goes on. But I know that only the famous and most rich people of this world can stay there because one night can go up to ten thousand euros or dollars, which is mind-blowing actually the views are more than beautiful and i know this is super beautiful place and the first impressions of montenegro it's a beautiful country but you will see in the continuing of this video that i got scammed and i didn't have a nice experience with the staff and people because they were rude and this is probably because i'm albanian but uh, i saw also to other tourists that they have got a lot of problems with the staffs and also didn't know where to go and it was a little bit challenging and still super overcrowded. So watch this before you come to Montenegro for a real review. This beach is absolutely beautiful, but the water is a little bit cold. Actually, I can't deny it. But beaching and sunbathing into the Sveti Stefan is absolutely a beautiful experience, a memorable one. <laughs> As the first impression of Montenegro, absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to say now, I'm in uh, September, in the end of September, it's actually 1 October tomorrow, and we are. I'm cho I choose to do this travel trip in, in this period of time because it's much better. And I will explain in another video why. Yeah, so this is another panoramic point over Sveti Stefan Island, which is absolutely beautiful. I recommend you to do some photos here, it's beautiful. You can deny that. So now we are at the hotel reception, but no one is here actually. What's going on? Yeah. 
I'm going to give you the first impression of the... It's not open. Better stay apart. For the moment I'm waiting at the reception. And yeah, they are checking the room. The apartment better say so. From outside it doesn't look like that, but inside I'm sure it's better. Oh, yeah. And now let's give some first impressions of the pool. Okay, the let's say the bell, the room it was a little bit small, but the the pool here it's okay, looks okay at least. I don't know it's if it's cold or not, but yeah, probably we'll take a dip, a quick dip actually. Like uh, 60 euros, for this room for three persons. And it's not a bad price actually, but the water of the pool is a little bit cold actually. I'm not recommending it at all a lot. So, yeah, no, this is the Vidikovac hotel. Something that I don't recommend this hotel a lot because I saw something. When I came here, it was noticed that I have the room 14. And I have booked like one month before, it was like 120 euros for two days. And when I came here, they changed the, the room and they give me a smaller room. So, this is not good. If you want to do a fair business, oh man, this is not good. Not good at all. And yeah, this is what I want to say. I didn't like the thing. It uh, just led to me a bad impression for this place. Yeah. It is what it is, but if I came back here, I don't know, because I have booked a room. Why do you need to change that? It's not a good thing, man. Anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit later more <laughs> about Okay, so this is a balcony, don't have any much view or slot of view, just a little bit there and yeah, you see a bit of old town. The room is basic one, not very good one, but it's okay. Okay, so I can say it's not my first time getting scammed or trying to get scammed, but this was really bad. Something I, I was expecting like totally another thing and I get another thing. Scammed in Montenegro. First impressions, beautiful country, but... Also, the people are not that friendly. It's surprising because in Albania, in Greece, in North Macedonia, the people and the, uh, the person that uh, serve to the staff or to the hotel staff are super friendly. Here, not friendly at all. No speaking English, they are so rude and yeah, not very good impressions and getting scammed. I didn't accept, uh, scammed, I didn't accept, uh, expect that. Yeah, I thought a serious hotel, I saw the review, they were good, but Probably always have another, have always have a first time. And yeah, for me, it wasn't a good one. Yeah. Look at this. I think the only good side is the location. Okay, so now I'm totally angry because I asked the persons to the hotel where should I go to go to the Citadel or to the castle, and nobody gives a fuck actually. So disrespectful here in Montenegro. Till now, and also people that I am, I am asking in the roads, nobody gives a fuck to give an answer. So yeah, just here I am again with you from this beautiful place, but disappointing day for me. Uh, finding something to eat probably, and then continue to the room. I'm so so tired actually today. Now let's do a walk tour in the new part of the city basically because the old town I will do the tour tomorrow because I'm not in a good mood today and also I need to find something to eat. Yeah. The promenade is okay, the walking street, but nothing special in Budva. It's a good city, I can't deny that, but I think you can find better in Greece and Albania, in my opinion. So, some upgrade for the situation, the food situation. I'm still hunting to find or probably I will buy a hot dog or some pizza because the food in restaurant varies a plate from 10, 12 to 15 euros, a normal small one, for probably a soup or something. And if you eat like a stick or I don't know, the spaghetti is like 20 euros. Montenegro is pretty expensive actually, and I didn't expect that actually. Hello. Hello. Uh, can we have like. Okay, it's okay for us, it's not a problem. So, can we have the packed in the back? Okay, thank you. So, grabbing some pizza, eating dinner, and let's go to the room. Okay, so, still rocking the Budva streets the first time, the first day here. And. Uh, not a pleasant day for me actually the worst thing actually the shittiest thing is that everything 
and those are the roads that uh, connect the street. Most of the that connect the city, most of them are blocked from new buildings. And if you check in Google Maps, it will show a road, and you go up to go up to the other part of the city, and then immediately as you start going up or climbing, hiking down, uh, you will get a block from a new building or some stops, and you have to turn around to do this thing over and over again. So, so yeah, the what I'm going to say for the day. I can't say that Montenegro isn't beautiful, it's a beautiful country, the nature, but uh, the service, the people have been too arrogant, not not good at all, not friendly, uh, friendly at all. Also, I got scammed, I got another room that I didn't book for, nobody speaks English actually, I was using Google Translate to the hotel, I don't recommend the hotel, for me it's one of ten, probably the most disappointing experience till now, and yeah. The city itself, a lot of roads are blocked. Even if the roads gets connected fro uh, from road to road, or you can't like small streets, small paths, they are blocked from the hotels or probably illegally. I don't know, but uh, have a lot of troubles with that too. And yeah, the day the I had fun actually to the Zveti Stefan. It was super beautiful, worth the eye. But Montenegro, not man. This is not good. Yeah, I'm super tired, I need to rest a little bit and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will give you a proper tour for, of Budva and Old Town because the day goes as it goes. It was as it, at the, as it was, so I don't know what to say else. Yeah, I'm going to close this video here. First impression of Montenegro, see my face, it tells it all. So.